What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Burnt. And if you're anything like me, you found yourself walking the streets of LA after a concert, a sporting event, or night out drinking with your friends, which means you've most likely come across a danger dog. And if you haven't, well, what is a danger dog? Otherwise known as a loaded hot dog, a Mexican dog, a street dog, whatever you want to call it. If you're wrapping a hot dog in bacon with some sauteed onions and peppers, you've got yourself one, and they're delicious. They're one of my favorite things to cook because they're easy, everybody loves them, you can make them vegan, but most importantly, you can get creative with it. So let's go ahead and get started. So in order to get started cooking your danger dog, you're gonna to wanna to get a fresh sausage roll or a large hot dog bun, because remember, we're gonna be putting a lot of ingredients inside. You're also gonna get an all beef hot dog and wrap it in an applewood smoked bacon. Then you're gonna take your veggies, onions, bell peppers, and jalapenos. I like to cook with color, so I use red, orange, and yellow bell peppers. Dice them all up. So now that we got all the ingredients prepped, the veggies diced and the hot dogs wrapped, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and get your pan ready. Get some oil in there and get it nice and hot. I personally like to use an electric griddle. We're gonna add your onions, your bell peppers, and your jalapenos. The idea here is to get everything nice and caramelized. Add your salt, pepper, and garlic, and don't shy away from those things because those are important flavor profiles. The goal with caramelizing, in my opinion, is to get a nice golden color on the vegetables. Don't overcook it because it'll get soggy and stringy. I personally like to have a nice little texture there for some mouthfeel. The natural sugars in the vegetables will go ahead and do that, but I personally like to add some beer for extra flavor and it helps the caramelization process along. So let's go ahead and add your hot dogs. We're gonna wanna make sure that we get a nice, even cook through on the bacon, keep that juiciness in the fat, and make sure that the hot dogs are cooked all the way through and nice and warm in the center. You're gonna wanna get that little bit of a crisp, but still keep that softness from the fatty. We're gonna want that snap in the hot dog when we bite. That's important. Again, going back to texture and mouthfeel, all these things play a factor into making sure that you have a good danger dog. When you're building your danger dog, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your bun is nicely toasted. Put a little bit of mayonnaise on the inside. Go ahead and take your bacon wrapped hot dog, set it in there. Be generous with the amount of onions, peppers, and jalapenos you put on top. Let's add some mustard and some ketchup and you're good to go. And just like that, you've got yourself a danger dog. Sauteed onions, bell peppers, jalapenos. It's a hot dog wrapped in bacon. What more could you want? I don't know. And if you make this at your next barbecue, I promise you your friends and family are gonna love it. If you missed any of the ingredients or the methods on how I cooked it, everything will be listed in the description below. And as always, hit that like button, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next episodes of Burn. 